So, welcome back everybody to Wolfenstein 2, continuing on with the Freedom Chronicles, and uh, yeah, for this uh, playthrough we're going to be doing the Diaries of Agent Silent Death. Now, apparently this one is a bit more stealth orientated, unlike Gunslinger Joe, which has me worried because I've never been great at stealth on this game, or if you've seen other playthroughs or other games that have silent elements, not great at them either, so yeah, I am a little bit worried, but hopefully it will go alright. So let's uh, get started. Volume 1. My word. Look at that handsome bloke. OSA secret agent Jack Valiant. Super spy for the British Empire. The Queen's greatest asset. Except for one other. Agent Silent Death. My name is Jessica Valiant. During the war, I helped my husband perform his duties behind the scenes. Inseparable both on the job and off until 1946. Jack bought me time to escape. If I'd had a choice, it would have been the other way around. Funny that, after the love of my life was taken away from me, the world submitted to the Nazis, and my faith in humanity crumbled. I fled to Brazil. Choosing a life in anonymity. It was a simpler life. A steady flow of fine alcohol and charming strangers served as my medication. Kept me afloat, without purpose or direction. Then one day, I received a mysterious folder with the image of a crimson bulldog imprinted on it. Inside were the briefs for three assassination targets. Torture expert, Uber Commander Han Stiglitz, Hollywood Nazi collaborator Chuck Lorenz, and the infamous General Gerhard Dunkel. What I read shook me to the core. The files provided evidence implicating these men as responsible for the betrayal, torture, and murder of my husband. These men had to die, and so I departed for California in the American territories. First on the list was Uber Commander Hans, the man who tortured Jack. I'd spent the past years in a delightful blur of drinking and debauchery, but killing Nazis was like riding a bike. A dozen slit throats later, I found myself in inside the Gestapo office in Sacramento, California. From there, I had to find my way to Uber Commander Hans's office. At the top floor. Right, sounds simple enough. So yeah, we have a silenced weapon on this uh on this Freedom Chronicles mission. And we have throwing knives as well. So useful. Obviously we don't have all that many bullets or all that many knives. So we have to be careful to start out with. Uber Commander Hans was my first hit in years. Felt like a stiff drink to take the edge off, but I had to stay focused. No oh, shit. Ah. Obviously she's not as strong as the other guys. So she's a little bit more susceptible to uh, outright gunfire. That's why I 
prefer to be able to use stealth elements, but like I said, I am not all that great. Give me it. Thank you. This is what happens. So yeah, that is why you cannot not be stealthy. Pretty much sums it up there, the problems that you have you run into when you aren't stealthy. Dog. X dog. Crawling through those vents, I did regret one thing. Not diving into the hotel minibar the night before. Yeah, I can imagine that being a bit tough. <laughs> well, obviously, as you can see, you can obviously not be stealthy. Obviously, it's not as advisable. Obviously, I'm not all that great, so... Well, 
know about me, that's for sure. And as you can see, you can only get 40 armor. So again, another weakness that we have with her, but we have upgraded the amount of bullets we can hold in this uh, handgun with one uh, mag, so that is obviously good. I don't think we ever got that on uh, the normal game, did we? I can't remember. So many upgrades on that game. It's hard to keep track of them all. It's a big sea mine. Another weapon now. Anybody on the toilet? Getting plenty of supplies together. From drunken midnight beach walks in Sao Paulo to skulking through Nazi Tossa Central, <laughs> I wondered if I was up to par after all these years. Well, I'm sure you are. heute besonders wachsam. Ich hatte eine ziemlich schlimme Vorahnung. Man könnte sagen, sie kam mir im Traum. Und wo sind mein Tee und mein Schinkenbrötchen? Herr Gott doch mal! Shit. Years of boozing had left a mark. Eindringling, Eindringling, verteidigen Sie das Büro von Überkommandant Hans um jeden Fall.
he's coming towards us. And now he's running away. There he is. Check your sword. And he's a big guy. And I got gotcha. you. Escape to where? Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? Those robots. Ah, oh, someone behind me, I think. <sighs> the central. I Let's wondered if I was up to par after right. all these years. Männer, seid heute besonders wachsam. Ich hatte eine ziemlich schlimme Vorahnung. Man könnte sagen, sie kam mir im Traum. Und wo sind mein Tee und mein Schinkenbrötchen? close Get it all the way up to the top. Years of boozing had left a mark. Eindringling, Eindringling, verteidigen Sie das Büro von Überkommandant Hans um jeden Preis. Ich wiederhole, verteidigen Sie das Büro von Überkommandant Hans um jeden Preis. Yeah. 
retreat. Damn it. I knew this would be hard. You really have to be silent. Well, at least I got to a save point. Years of boozing had left a mark. Eindringling, Eindringling, verteidigen Sie das Büro von Überkommandant Hans um jeden Preis. Ich wiederhole, verteidigen Sie das Büro von Überkommandant Hans um jeden Preis. I will get the hang of this, promise. Hope if the stealth mechanics were better on this game though, to be honest. Well, certainly better games out there for self. Years of boozing had left a mark. Well, that did not work out. Eindringling, Should take them out sound in the Still don't know where you want me to go. Maybe up in his office, and that's why there's a window open.
I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Uh, yes. <laughs> Bit cheeky. And so another Nazi bellend had been sent to hell. That was tough. Good riddance. Uber Commander Hans. One I could down, feel the tug of war inside. A craving to escape this dreadful reality. But I couldn't. Not until each and every one of these Nazis was six feet under. Until my Jack was avenged. Next up, the man who betrayed Jack. Actor, filmmaker, and Nazi collaborator Chuck Lorenz. Once an undercover agent for the OSA, now a stooge for the Reich. Like so many American traitors, that snake was generously rewarded for collaborating with the Nazis and had been promoted to head producer of American propaganda. Lorenz was now a powerful man with powerful friends. While this powerful man was about to have a rendezvous with Agent Silent Death. So this was Paragon Studios, mouthpiece for Nazi America, doling out rubbish propaganda to the masses.